Welcome back, this is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. Today's topic is fasting and parasites. Before I get started, I am excited to announce we have launched our educational modules on diet, lifestyle, and nutrition. It is called Holistic Health Champions. It will include a vast amount of knowledge and content, a community board, along with weekly Q&As where we answer your burning questions. It is a place where you can ask questions safely without ridicule, and you will get the answers that you deserve. So if you're interested, please sign up below. The website is already open. It started on August 22nd. So let's get started on today's video. Fasting parasites. Parasite life cycle may be interrupted by fasting. So if you don't eat for a certain period of time, the nutrient deficiencies may disrupt the life cycle of a parasite. So from egg, larva, all the way to the adult stages, the nutrient deficiency may impact them. Now, there is a caveat though. You may put the parasite into a dormant stage where they go into hiding in their, you know, dormant, like hibernating, and they become a little bit harder to kill later on. Short-term fasting, meaning one to three days, may boost the immune system, may impact the gut microbiome and resetting the gut microbiome, also resetting insulin, which would help your immune system. So a short-term fast may boost your immune system helping to fight parasitic infections. Autophagy and parasite clearance. So when you do the fast, after about the 17th or 20th hour, you start going to further autophagy. When this happens, you're cleaning out damaged components and intracellular parasites. So fasting, I think at the peak, level of autophagy is probably going to be around the second and third day. Okay. Starvation and parasite resilience. So can survive nutrient scarcity. Some parasites will take the opportunity where you can't, they can't get the nutrients that they need and they will start to feed on the host tissue, meaning you. So there is a problem sometimes where if you go into too long of a fast, that it will actually improve the uh, parasitic resiliency and they will start to uh, feed off the host. <coughs> fasting helps with detoxification and parasite elimination. So fasting gives the digestive system a break, right? So when you eat foods, natural processes occur and you actually get what we call reactive oxygen species or ROS. So just giving your body a break from processing all the food proteins, it allows your body to focus on clearing toxins and parasites out of our system. Combining the fasting with complementary therapies. I think this is where you need to be. So fasting, um, can be beneficial in terms of helping the parasitic cleanse portion of it. However, you may be limited in terms of trying to get completely getting rid of the parasites because some parasites are more resilient than others. So what do we need to do? You want to combine the fasting along with complementary therapies. Things like herbal remedies that are antimicrobial or antiparasitic. You can do saunas. You can do pulse magnetic frequencies that may disrupt uh, these parasitic infections. You can also do laser applications. So complementary and alternative therapies should be combined with the fasting to get the best possible results. So fasting can be one day. It can be up to three days. I would caution against going further than three to five days of fasting because you need the nutrients also, and you need to build resilience and build your immune system. So going for too long or into starvation mode may be detrimental to you. So combining short-term fasting, meaning one to three days, 
along with complementary medicine with herbs, where you can rotate different types of herbs or combine them, and you can make an impact on clearing the parasitic infections. So there is a potential risk to the host due to the weakening of the immune system and lack of nutrients. So you don't want to go beyond um, um, your physiological um, resilience. So some people come in and they're very sick to start with. For those patients, you might want to just build resilience first before you try to kill anything off. So some people are good, they just have a GI infection, but they're relatively healthy, their immune system is still robust enough, then you may incorporate fasting along with natural herbal remedies. Or if the patient can get a hold of antiparasitic medications, certainly they can do that. But is fasting the end all to killing off parasites? No. Can you combine fasting with other complementary medicine or herbal remedies? Yes, I think that's probably the best strategy that you can take in order to get rid of parasitic infections. All right, my name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.